We're back now at the University of California at Davis at its School of Veterinary Medicine, and I'm joined by Dr. David Wilson, and you are the director of the school's Veterinary Medical Teaching Hospital. I have that correct? That's Finally. correct, yes. And, well, thanks for joining us. And it, it looks like we're in the middle of, a, of, a, of an ICU for horses. What is this place exactly? This is the uh, neonatal intensive care unit. And specifically in this unit, we uh, treat uh, foals primarily, but we also treat uh, baby llamas, alpacas, and also on occasion other uh, other young of, of other species. With uh, foals, um, the, the major issues we have are, are prematurity. So if a foal is born premature, then they're uh, weak and unable to uh, nurse and, uh, and sustain themselves. We certainly deal with a lot of foals that have that infections during their first few days of life or even infected before they're born. Um, and then we see foals that, that are not ready for birth uh, for whatever reason and, uh, and then need support, pretty intensive support, in, o in order to get them to a point that they can sustain themselves. So. Are you bringing animals in from ranches and farms in the outside, or are these residents of UC Davis? These are all client-owned horses, so uh, they're usually seen in the field by a veterinarian uh, who services the, the client uh, or the farm. Uh, and at that point, they'll decide whether they can be treated in the field. If they're more severely ill or need more intensive care, then typically they would refer those cases to us. What's the one piece of advice you would give a youngster today who wants to get involved in veterinary medicine? Identify a mentor. I think along the way, we've, we've all identified veterinarians that, that uh, kind of took us under their wing and, and uh, helped us uh, uh, focus our career goals and also uh, stimulated us along the way. Uh, uh, to uh, pursue that uh, areas of profession. So I think that's first and foremost, that's very important. I think obviously, as we've said, a real, uh, a real drive to care for animals is very important. And so gaining experience in that area um, certainly is, is a big part of it. Back here at the uh, School of Veterinary Medicine at UC Davis, we discovered a, a program, a special program, one I'd never heard before called the Veterinary Emergency Response Team. Dr. Wilson, what is that exactly, and how is this goat involved? Well, the goat, uh, as are other animals, cattle, horses, sheep, or virtually any species that might be involved in a disaster or emergency, a veterinary emergency response team, which is a team of doctors uh, on our faculty, uh, staff and students uh, would respond to help the needs of the animals uh, during a disaster. What kind of disasters are we talking about? We've been involved uh, in floods, uh, fires, uh, potentially earthquakes, uh, individual animals that might uh, fall off a trail uh, into a canyon and need mm -hmm. to be uh, extracted, just a, a wide variety of different circumstances.